This video is sponsored by Trucker's Path. Have you ever delivered a load and the doggone shipper or the receiver just takes so long and now you just don't know where you're gonna park? Well, I have the answer for you. You should go download Trucker's Path. Available on all iPhone apps, uh, iStores, uh, Google stores, like, right? It's already in your phone. You just gotta download it. Here's the thing. They will tell you all the locations around you where you can park, tell you what the kind of food is there, tell you what's like a Walmart, it'll tell you what shops are at. Let me say something. Trucker's Path has got to be the best trucking app out here, man. I mean, Trucker's Path is probably the best thing that has happened to trucking since trucks. I'm just going to be honest with you, man, okay? Don't mind that I'm sponsored by them or nothing like that. It's just a really great app, man. So shout out to uh, Trucker's Path. This video is definitely sponsored by Trucker's Path. You should download that app right now. Uh, in your phone, go do it because I said so. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Trucking Name J Man, checking in, checking in, aka your favorite lease out, aka FaceTime Daddy. We out here, man. We out here, we out here, we out here. We finally got the truck fixed, man, and we can get back to business. We can get back to business. So, just a quick video, real quick video, shouldn't take too long. Just want you guys to update on what's going on. So basically what happened, like I told you guys on yesterday, um, I did a couple of live feeds yesterday, um, but I was telling you about how uh, I was, you know, I came to Illinois to get the truck fixed and um, I wanted to bring it to VL Trucking's mechanic because I didn't want so many people touching my truck. Um, but uh, yeah, and so what, what, but what ended up happening was I went to um, VL and by the time I got there because of how long it took me to get unloaded, um, it was going to be too late for their mechanics um, to work on me. It was like 4 o'clock, and they closed at like 6 o'clock. So, um, reached out to my man Blago. Shout out to Blago. He said, hey, man, I'm 15 minutes out. What's up? What we going to do? He was like, man, ain't going to lie to you. They closed at 6, so they probably won't even better get to you. But he said, if you don't mind driving a little bit, like another 30 minutes, um, you can go over to Truck Country, and, you know, I got a, you know, situation over there. I said, okay, cool. So, um, I came here to this truck country. It looked like they just built this joint. I'm out here in, uh, where is this joint at? Uh, Hampshire, Illinois, I guess north of, I think I'm north of Chicago. I don't know, but I'm out here in Hampshire, Illinois, um, and I've been out here now probably for about, I got here yesterday, I want to say like five o'clock, yeah, like five p.m., and, um, and uh, checked in, told him what was going on. Blago had already called ahead and kind of gave him the, 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 you know, we told him the woody, woody, whoop and whatever. I need to leave the camera alone. But anyways, um, so I got here, got checked in, and it was just interesting because I didn't know how much this shit was going to cost. You know what I mean? You know, I heard people saying stuff like it could just be cleared out. I was hearing people saying numbers like 12 two thousand dollars like i was just hearing all kinds of shit and that's why you got to do your research and ask questions and just not just settle for the first or maybe even the second answer that you get you really gotta just you know don't just settle that's the one thing i'm learning in life but you know on this owner rock uh trucking side is that you know second third fourth fifth six opinions are okay you know what i mean like when you go to these shops when you trying to find information about a truck or a load or a rate or whatever, like it's okay to get multiple upon multiple upon multiple opinions on a specific situation because you might not get the best answer until you ask the seventh person. That's just how it works sometimes. Um, and trucking, man, you, if you're just going off with the first person, if I'd have just went off with the first person told me about this shit, I probably would have ended up spending like, I don't know, maybe 1500 plus. I don't know. But nonetheless, it ended up being exactly what the code said it was, which was the knock sensor um, inlet, mine 16 inlet. So they, um, I got here like so I got here like five yesterday. I didn't leave. They didn't finish me until it was like 11 o'clock. Yeah, I checked in at five. I ain't get back in my truck so about. I say yeah, about 10:30, 11 o'clock. And I was like. Yeah, it's like, like 10 45 11 o'clock anyways um so that being said they fixed it all and 
parts and labor, I end up getting hit for $694.11. $694.11. So the parts was $292, the labor was $310. And then you got tax forty five forty one, and then miscellaneous supplies forty six fifty four grand total six ninety four eleven. So you know not bad at all. You know not the cheapest, but not as expensive as I you know it could have been. So I'm very grateful, very appreciative, man. Um, again, shout out to Blago, the maintenance manager at, at VL, man, for helping me out, sending me where he sent me, and you know what I mean, doing what he did. You know what I mean? Again, man. I hate to say it, I, ain't, I don't even hate to say it, cause you know, at this point, I'm just, it just is what it is, man. I'm not trying to oversell this company. I'm not trying to, you know, make this shit seem too good to be true. But VL Trucking, man, they just continue to take care of your boy, man. They just continue to, like, cause some lease carriers, like when you lease on to, with any type of mechanical breakdown, man, you on your own. Like they don't, you know what I mean? Like, all they want to know is when can you get the next load. But with this situation, man, they, they, you know, like normally only mega carrier leases be the one that'll help you with your truck and will tell you where to go and shit like that or even pay for it for you and let you pay them back. And you got them same options here at VL Trucking, even though I didn't need them to pay anything. I paid it myself, but just the fact that, you know, I could use their connections to, you know, what I to, to pay what I consider a, a lot lower than what I thought I was going to pay, $700. You know, uh, again, I was having people telling me they had this light come on and they didn't pay 15, 2,000. And that's not to say that that might not happen down the line, but you know, I'll definitely be prepared for it then. But you know, even if I had, even if I got $25,000 in my maintenance account, I'm still not trying to spend it. Just cause you stack it and save it don't mean you want to spend it. You know what I mean? So that's just, <laughs> just you know what I mean? That's just what it is. You want to keep the dollars you, you work hard for. But um, nonetheless, man, like I say, I'm, I'm just I'm just grateful to, uh, to, to 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 have gotten it over with. You know, it's not, it could have been worse, but it's not. And uh, now I just get back to the grind, continue to stack my bread. And uh, once again, man, shout out to VL Trucking, man, because they just keep taking care of your boy. Every time uh, where other companies may have let me down in the past, VL Trucking is just like, yo, we got you, and it's just. It's just like, I don't know what else to say, man. I don't know what, ain't too many lease companies that's helping their drivers like that besides the mega carriers. Like, this company is, 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 is like, they, I don't know, man. I ain't gonna say nothing else, man. Y'all ain't got the picture by now about what type of situation this VL truck and lease is. I don't know what to tell you, bro. Straight up and down. So, but I'm gonna get up out of here. I'm gonna get my day started. I'm gonna head over to this TA that I found on Trucker's Path. Shout out to Trucker's Path, man. Best trucking app out here right now. Um... I'll go over here, give me something to eat, get ready for this next load, and get ready to start grinding until I go home next week. And um, that's what it is, man. You already know, as always, stay safe, stay positive, stay productive. God, family, trucking. And remember, every day is another step closer to where you want to be in life. So keep pushing, because you already know I am. I'm gone.